All right, people, what's going on? Variety Tees. And never thought I'd be doing this, but Nuketown 2065, or Nux 3 Town, should I say, has made its return in Black Ops 3. Yes, with the recent update, everybody is now able to get Nuketown, play on Nuketown, breathe Nuketown, sleep on Nuketown, whatever it may be. Nuketown. That's it. One extra ability Treyarch forgot to mention was, you're now able to spawn trap on Nuketown, that's right. Not like the spawn trapping you saw in Black Ops 1, where, you know, you, you knew where the guy was gonna spawn, like, the vicinity, the direction, but not the actual exact location as I'm displaying here. The reason why I don't think Nuketown is great, or is a great map, is because, well, it's definitely because of this reason here. People are willing to exploit Nuketown for all its flaws, and it's just, I don't know, just hasn't had the same feeling since Black Ops 1 for me. Black Ops 2, I hated Nuketown, I don't know why, I mean, I do know why, obviously, but a lot of you like Nuketown. I kind of think it's a bum rack because, you know, if everybody loves Nuketown, everybody loves this map, they want, they want to rejoice, get all these kills on it on such a small map, it's frenetic, it's fast-paced, blah blah blah. But at the same time, it doesn't have that fun factor it used to have in Black Ops 1, where it was just like, it was a fair playing field. Everybody had their own, like, guns, they had their own advantages, and it just worked on Black Ops 1 because there was no quick scopers. There was no target finder LMGs, there was no Remington shotguns. The soldiers weren't jumping around all over the bloody place, just head glitching in absolutely every possible location, which made for a fun experience. The flaws I just mentioned were clearly in Black Ops 2 and Black Ops 3, but hey, listen, I still think Nuketown is an okay map, even though, yes, it does have flaws, yes, it's it could be much better, especially in Black Ops but that game's over and done with almost uh, it's almost three years old now and it's old news there's like nobody's playing it well 40,000 people are playing it but let's just pretend that uh, nobody's playing it and the Black Ops 3 Nuketown I don't know I don't know what to think of it actually I do know what to think of it it's <laughs> it sucks I'll just blatantly state that it sucks. It's just it's just jumping around everywhere, everybody's head glitching, everybody's sweaty in that playlist. Maybe if like some noobs were to join that playlist and, you know, pop their shells out of TDM or um like the, maybe the hardcore playlists, maybe I'd enjoy it a little more, but this new town like like, like I said, it's just all over the place for me. I know it's bad, I know it doesn't have potential to be good, it's just, it just didn't work. I don't see the need for Treyarch to think they're actually doing something right, you know, we're robbing the community because of the, like, the supply drops, and adding new weapons into the game, which are still not pay to win, let me just assure you that. The HG40 does suck, according to my friend, I'm gonna upload another video in I'll say two days maybe three days I don't know not sure actually no, at most three days okay like if I don't upload it in three days I am willing to chop my Adam's apple off and feed it to you guys with a little bit of salt and some uh, some, some jalapeno peppers but yeah, the HG40 could definitely be a lot better. The rate of fire is really lacking on that gun. As well as the uh, sniper. It's basically a Dracon, except for the, uh, like, it's a bolt action. It's it's like a, it's a Dracon with a Locust, like, uh, type of, like, utilization, utilization to it. Because it's bolt action. And it's only a one-shot kill to the upper chest and above, which is which makes for a complete crap sniper. As if the snipers aren't already complete crap in this game, they go ahead and just frickin' bust this one out. Uh, listen guys, I don't know who made the snipers or who play-tested the snipers in this game. I'm not gonna lie, I like this game. I really enjoy it. I don't think I've enjoyed a game this much since um, 
the first very, the very first Black Ops. MW3, the first couple months, it's the same story. Lag comp, there's no skill-based matchmaking, but... But, uh... I don't know why Treyarch seems to feel the need to re-add these maps multiple times into a COD game. I know that Nuketown is a very iconic map, and it just... It's like a stamp. It's a symbol on how Treyarch... Or, it's their number one sort of map. Like... I don't know if it's... I don't know how it's their number one map, maybe it's based on popularity, maybe it's based on... Maybe it's just based on how the community views it, like how it's frenetic, it's... As I said before, it's fast-paced, everybody, like, everybody's gonna get like a bunch of kills on that map, because it's really, it's too small. But this example of what I'm showing here is just... freaking ridiculous. And I'm gonna release it to you guys, because... It's just... It's just enough now. This franchise has been going on for far too long, and these exploits have been in the game for enough time that Treyarch, with their three years they had to develop this game, could at least implement a decent spawn system to where people literally don't, like, appear right in your vicinity. It's a joke that it had to come to this. This is the game that literally everybody has had faith in. Everybody had faith in Treyarch, everybody thought that Treyarch was the saving grace, and I still think they are. I think this is a good game, I have a feeling a lot of people are playing this game, but at the same time, you gotta wonder, if these flaws weren't in this game, how much better of a game it could be? They have the potential to be one of the best Call of Duty games on the market. But at the same time, like, Treyarch had to focus on, you know, the supply drops and their greed, and their greed and supply drops obviously got the best of them. It's sad to uh, envision the situation, but hey, it's, it's a game, it's a pretty good game, I'll definitely take it. But, anyways, that's it. That's enough of my rant on Nuketown. Definitely won't be the, um, the star that it once was in Black Ops 1. Anyway, guys, it's been real. Peace.